Good evening, everyone. My name is Seth Haskins, Code Primate, and I think I had my volume on uh, just before it actually started, so uh, whatever. <laughs> this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Welcome back. Um, we are going to continue on with our cleaning series where I'm just basically picking up my, my base and getting things ready for uh, public again so I can go back into the public servers. But um, I don't really have any plans um, until Thanksgiving time frame. So I'm going to be uh, catching up on my Fortnite and catching up on some different things here and there. I have been doing uh, some YouNow streams, so you can catch me on YouNow from the, uh, oh, what is it, the uh, um, drive time. That's usually where I'm driving. Oh, by the way, I saw the suggestion of, um, I don't know what these were for. We were going to make a, like a pink box, but I'm not going to do that. Um, there was a suggestion for me to create a garage for the, uh, all the, the spawner pads. And I think that's a brilliant idea. I love that idea. Let's do it. Um, but I want to clean up first. So. Those turkeys are going to be a pain. <clears throat> Anyhow, just walking, cleaning, and hopefully having fun. Let's do this one at a time. I would do it with a truck, but it's, uh, yeah, it's going to take some time. So, um, I looked to see if Defaultio had opened up Proju again. He has not. It's not out yet, so he's still working on some things, which is good. I mean, I want it to be really good when it comes out. And hopefully it'll be less pricey this time. Maybe not a thousand Robux. But um, if he does lower the price, what does that do for everybody that paid a thousand to get in in the first place? Like, are we just not allowed or I don't, I don't know. Anyhow. Um, also, what happens to the people that spent money on Kip? Like, I, I spent Robux on Kip. I know I didn't use it all. So, <sighs> I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But if you're looking to make a game yourself, uh, microtransactions like that are a great way to make a profit. Um, just make sure that you're you're giving something worth the value of somebody's Robux. Because remember, Robux is a translation of people's dollars, uh, people's euros, people's um, actual cash money. Like it's got monetary value to it, although it's it's not liquid until it turns back into currency. I don't know if this is above all yours heads, all, all of y'all's heads. Oh, happy election day. I don't know what the results are and uh, quite frankly, I don't care. <clears throat> but you know, feeling very patriotic, uh, might wear um, a flag or something for tomorrow, you know, participate in the, the process, except uh, I don't vote. So uh, a lot of people are turned off by that. They're like, code, you don't vote? How very unpatriotic. No, I see it like this. I went into the military and I fought for my right to choose not to vote. And that's, uh, that might be kind of anti what you, what a lot of people think maybe anti-patriotic, but it's not. <clears throat> and that's just because I, I don't see value in either one of them, in either one of the candidates at this particular point in time. Whether it's Trump, whether it's Biden, I don't care. Like there's, if it's going to be a decision, it's not gonna be a decision that I had anything to do with. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> and I don't talk politics, so we're going to move on. I'm more worried about the psychological studies in human beings and uh, the mental development of young people. And that goes for a lot of, uh, of my videos. <clears throat> I mean, that's, that's to the effect of who I'm talking to. I know that you're supposed to be 13 years of age to be on YouTube and to play Roblox, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. The development of somebody's human brain doesn't start at 13 and it's not the same for every single person. And I know that there's certain things that um, people 
put emphasis on, but to acknowledge someone's feelings. For example, to say it's okay to be angry and to be mad. It's how we handle being angry and being mad that we need to learn how to deal with. That's very much, that's more important than than watching Jacksepticeye. <laughs> I think you can cause so much more drama and emotional connection just by 15 minutes of saying, hey, it's okay to be sad. If you lose a pet, it's okay to, be, to, to cry about things like that. If you're going to get a haircut for, and it's been a really long time since you've been there, or it's a new barber, or it's a new school, it's okay to be afraid, you know? And being afraid and being scared is part of being a human being. I think, I think that makes for much better entertainment. The, the sheer emotional connection with another human being, you know? <clears throat> and it may sound like I'm very, I, I'm talking to you directly on a personal level. And in a sense, I am. I'm talking directly to you, but it's very impersonal if you think about the actual what's going on here, okay? <clears throat> here's, here's how I'm going to explain it. A lot of people ask me, Code, hello, how are you? How are you doing today? I can answer in a very generic response and say, I'm doing great. How is your day? That's supposed to be the normal human reaction and, and interaction of, of two human beings whenever they're talking and, and trying to converse, right? But at the same time, do you really care how my day is going? I mean, and don't comment on this because, I mean, I don't really want an answer, but the idea that my day could have an effect on how your day is going, that, that's deep. And I hope... I hope my videos make you feel better about being a human being and better about our predicament that we're in, being human on this earth. <laughs> so just be nice. And as long as you are continuously and consistently nice to everyone around you, it should fill your life with nice people because people will see that and they'll, they'll be like, oh, I want that. That's, that's how I want my life to be. And that's how I try and treat my life. Um, I talk about trolls. And I talk about um, bullies um, in general. And I want to tell, tell you that since being becoming a YouTuber, being on YouTube, and this isn't since 2007, this is since me becoming a, a Roblox YouTuber, I have come across a lot of people and 99% of the time, when somebody's trolling you, they're just wanting your attention. Well, in, in my case, at least. And for the most part, I'll talk to them. Like, it, it happens. But every once in a while, you'll get somebody who just doesn't get the message. And that's a tr that is a true troll. That is, that is a 100% troll personality, persona. And it's those that you cannot talk to. You cannot reason with. You cannot say anything to. You just need to cut out completely. And don't get me wrong. I am all about forgiveness and second chances and all kinds of, of stuff like that. But when it's consistent and happening every day, cut them out. Block them. I've, done, I've, I've blocked a lot of people in the past. And I think that is such a worse punishment. That is such a, a worse outcome for somebody who's striving to get your attention. When you absolutely 100% ignore and don't acknowledge someone. <sighs> That's got to be rough. I know it's rough. But on. why can't I? Oh, I got to grab this. 
go. There we go. Oh, we're gonna have this thing cleaned in no time. Beautiful. All right. There we go. And if we hit this button, that should flip, right? There we go. Yay. <clears throat> By the way, me and Jack were going to shove a. Uh, a scoob head inside, no, a, a piece of coal inside uh, one of the pumpkins. And if you weren't watching that day, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. <laughs> Screw! <laughs> Alright, so these things we've, we were kind of saving up over here. I will continue to save those. Maybe maybe we'll make uh, make some garage doors out of those. That'd be nice. Some nice garage doors. <clears throat> I'll be a regular Bob Vila. Is, is Bob still around? Okay, Google. Is Bob Vila still alive? He's still alive. Good old Bob. <laughs> you guys thought you had memes about uh, about Phil Swift and uh, what is it? Flex tape. <laughs> That's the power of flex tape. <laughs> you guys don't even know about Bob. And by the way, that's not uh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross, he's got his own set of memes. Uh, but I, I guess that's something that. I've come to learn about these generations. I don't, I don't want to say this generation. I want to say these generations because I've been doing this for a while. Um, memes have been around for a while. And a lot of people are like, oh, we're the first generation to come up with the meme. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Memes uh, just happens to be the new name for it. Memes have been around forever. <laughs> they just called them different things. Adult jokes, dirty jokes, funny jokes, whatever you want to call them. Cringe jokes. E-bums world. Whatever. <laughs> Put a comment down below if you if you remember E-bums world. <laughs> oh god. That thing. Ugh. There's also a thing called tin tin six dot com or something like that. It was police humor. And that site had the funniest lines that I could use inside the jail. <laughs> so <laughs> there's one time uh, this inmate was he was he was kind of complaining. He said the the handcuffs are too tight. <laughs> Without skipping a beat, I turned to him and said, "Oh, that's because they're new. Give them a second; they'll stretch out." <laughs> so mean. I, I loosened them afterwards. I was just, I was trying to get the paperwork finished at the second. <clears throat> but no, I, I did. I loosened up his handcuffs for him. So. I think that's, that's hard to imagine. That I used to be a correctional officer. For, uh, nine years. Nine years. I was a correctional officer. <sighs> And now I'm a family-friendly Robloxian YouTuber <laughs> with tons of stories that I can't tell you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mangry, Mangry Gamer, you, you get it. One Mangry Gamer. He's, a, he's in the security police officer business. He carries cuffs and a gun. You know. You know him. I think you guys know him, right? Uh, hold on. That was the wrong kind of wood. Hold up. Where's this go? This? Nope, not that one. Oh. Ooh, there we go. That's a match. Stay. No, uh, in. In, please. In. Can I move that? Is that possible? I think the reason I couldn't move this is because it was 
It was right there on the edge. Like these pieces were pushing up against it or something, right? Hold on, let's try that again. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. <clears throat> Much better. What about that? Is that match? Yeah, that matches. I come with my own sound effects, too. What are you doing over here? Oh! Hello, snowball. I wonder how small the snowball can get. You know, if you put it into the, uh... The thingy. Oh, uh, did I show you the... the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We showed, showed you with Jack. Um, these things right here. If you... Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. Let's move, turn, set it down like that. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, I was thinking about making a, uh, hold on, do I have a, a plate? Here we go, I'll just use this plate. Actually, can I use the flat cylinder? Will that work? So, let's open it up. Boom! There it goes. <laughs> Set it down, put some pins down there at the end. We could do some bowling. Or maybe shuffleboard. We could do some shuffleboard. We'll have to find another plate. Defaultio, make a couple more plates. That's what we need. We need another plate, just like this one, only different colors. Maybe a black plate this year. Oops, that didn't work. Whoa! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're having so much fun, I didn't pay attention to the time. It's 17 minutes, way past my time! So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys for that. Seriously, be, be nice to everyone around you. And I love you guys for that. I love you for who you are and not for what people want you to be. Okay? Have a great day. Should I say it? Should I say it? Who was ready for me to say it? Were you, were you, were you waiting right there? Outro! Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.